Bonjour tout le monde, I'm Diane, the American behind We in France, the living abroad lifestyle blog and also here on YouTube, where we talk about everyday French life and beyond. And today we are heading to the French grocery store, one of my favorite things to do. And um, I'm going to be a little quick with the shots and uh, try to speak a little quietly as not to disturb the people around me or draw any attention to myself, um, just because it is a busy Saturday. But uh, we're going to head in and I'd like to show you maybe some of my favorite products. Um, show you what they have going on for the holiday time period and uh, yeah I'll do the best I can so let's hit in and see what we get up to First thing in the morning, Saturday, uh, French grocery stores are usually super crowded uh, on Saturdays and then with the holidays even more so. So I hope we'll, uh, we'll get in and out without too much trouble and I won't run into any people that I film by accident or anything like that. So uh, let's head inside and see what we get up to. Okay, so something I love about this particular French grocery store is their in-store bakery section. Check it out whole bunch of vinoiserie and then they even have the mini bûche de noël the bûchette yeah and the prices are a bit less than a regular bakery they have a nice selection it's really well done here Okay, first things first, let's pick up some toilet paper. And scented paper is pretty popular. Look at this, I've never seen this one actually. It's the scent of the islands. And this one's green tea. But uh, we're going with the regular. Last time I was here, I discovered a whole bunch of new to me, eco-friendly cleaning products. Um, in particular, this one up here, really nice packaging too. Ah, check these out. I love these holiday chocolate samplers. They're uh, pretty big boxes of a variety of different types of chocolate, uh, milk, dark, uh, ganache, de praline, whatever you want, and uh, they're pretty moderately priced between 10 and 15 euros, and uh, they make a nice gift to yourself as well. And some of the crackers you'll see for snack time in France, these are actually pretty good, and despite the French not really loving peanut butter, they love uh, peanuts, so these are kind of the puffy Cheetos, but with a peanut flavor. They're really good. Okay, these are the best pickles ever. They're really, really briny uh, and tarty, so <laughs> you'll pucker up your lips a little bit. But uh, Mai, the brand from uh, Dijon, I believe, they also do the mustard right next to it. I have to get some mini pickles. They're called cornichon in French, cornichon. Yeah, and here's the mustard. And they have all different types of fine mustard, which uh, is really nice ones that are the gourmet, that have a little bit of balsamic or uh, just other flavorings. Okay, I think it's clear the French love Nutella and even has some Christmas packaging, like a Christmas sweater. Look at that. But there are actually some other spreads. I actually hate anything with that noisette taste. Uh, this one in particular is really good. No palm oil either. Gavotte chocolate one's really good. Look, they even have some peanut butter up here with it and some spreads uh, that are flavored like candy. Um, and the Speculose, this is kind of like the Trader Joe's cookie butter. If you know that, it's really good as well. And they have a crunchy one. Okay, now we're getting to the fun stuff, uh, the cheese. So one thing I want to point out, I believe these are available all year round, but there's definitely more of a selection around the holidays. These pre-made small platters of cheese, um, and they're actually quite good. And there's kinds from different regions. So we have uh, Auvergne, we have the Savoie, Dauphiné, uh, Bourgogne, and uh, they're really good. They're moderately priced, you know, I think 11 or 12 euros. It's not going to feed a table of 20, but uh, it's pretty close. And um, yeah, this is a really good one. I've gotten this one before. Uh, it's a really easy way to have some nice cheese if you can't make it to the fromager or with COVID if it's closed. And uh, bio means organic, so this one is all organic. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. Uh, 
what's really popular for, you know, cocktails or uh, apéro or just with your appetizers uh, are sparkling wines. So some popular ones are Clément, and I like a nice sparkling uh, Bouvray. And since I'm here in the Loire Valley, uh, Clément de Loire is really nice. Nice sparkling wine, just like Champagne, but not from the Champagne region. And I've already purchased my wine, so I'm not getting any bottles here today. Already got it direct from the producer, but there's no shortage in the supermarket either for a good price. Oh, there's some really nice gift sets of special cookies. I don't know if you know La Mer Poulard. It was closed when I was at the Mont Saint-Michel last time because of COVID, but they have some nice little cookie samplers, jam samplers, and then of course, a big one at Christmas time is French families have foie gras. So there are different pâtés and foie gras here. Not really my thing, but it's very popular. Okay, I love these cookie samplers. They're really cool. <laughs> so something you'll see all year round in France is smoked salmon, but at Christmas time, it's extra special. Uh, very popular to have on a toast with a little bit of a creme fraiche and dill sauce or something to that effect as an appetizer for the holidays. And yeah, we have this in the U.S. probably most commonly in lox, cream cheese, you put it on a bagel. Um, so yeah, it exists in the U.S., but um, it's very, very popular in France. Pretty much a quintessential appetizer uh, for the holidays. So you'll see entire cases here full of all kinds of smoked salmon, smoked trout. Uh, these people are stocking up. popular one with French kids is uh, the choca pic full of sugar and you'll see some names you know and some that you don't oh this is a nice one this is local to me here in Anjou and uh, this one is flavored with Cointreau the liquor very very nice I haven't seen that before have to remind myself in this particular store we need to weigh our produce and put the sticker on it so that's exactly what we're gonna do and uh, otherwise you get to the register and then you look like a huge idiot that you <laughs> forgot to weigh your uh, your produce and they can't do it for you um, the store I normally shop at uh, <laughs> they do it for you so I always forget when I come here Diane make sure you weigh your produce so you don't hold up the line all right all set Oh my gosh, I love these pink poinsettias. Really nice florist section of this store. Okay, I don't need to buy uh, potato chips, but let me show you the brand Brett right here. They have amazing varieties. Here they just have like four or so, but they have um, all different kinds. Like, look at this. We have a, a braised chicken flavor. We have uh, cheese from the Jura region. And here we have a nice goat cheese with the... Uh, pepper flavor really really good and the yogurt aisle and the dessert aisle is huge look let me show you
Okay, we're all set. We did good. Not too busy in and out by 9 a.m. That's how I like to shop. All right, back out into the rain. Okay, let's not forget to make sure we validated our parking ticket. That's another thing that can be embarrassing. All right, I have to pay 20 cents, cool. I think I was supposed to validate it upstairs, but I forgot, so I'm just gonna pay the 20 cents, save myself the trip. Uh, where do I put my 20 cents? Oh, right here. All right, there we go, we get our ticket, and now we can get out of the parking garage. Okay, that wraps up today's video at the French grocery store. I'm gonna head home, um, but please let me know if you like this sort of content. And also down below, I would love to see in the comments if anything was interesting or you know particularly familiar or foreign to you. You know, I've been in France a while now, so I love reading your comments when you say, "Oh, Diane, you know that's really interesting. I didn't know that existed." Or you know, just in my videos when you point things out that have become so second nature to me because I've been here um, for over eight years now. But um, it reminds me what things are like back home or in the UK or in Australia. So I really do welcome your feedback down below. Would love to hear from you. And as always, thank you for being here. Happy holidays to your family, your friends, all your loved ones. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, I'll see you right back here on We in France soon. Salut!